Hey everybody, we're Ian of Handicapping Thoroughbred Racing on Friday the 13th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to the Big A, Aqueduct Race Course, Ozone Park, New York, first for their Race 2 feature, 1.22 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Three Coins Up Stakes, 8.5 for a long route test on the turf, 4 year olds and up race for a stakes prize of $75,000. Contenders number seven, Kaisha Electronica, the pair entry of number one, a Redding Colliery, and the stable mate number one, Mahubo, on my list, along with number eight, Rush Now, and number nine, Saginaw. Number seven, Kaisha Electronica, takes a class drop of 11 units, has turned in power run performances in five straight, hitting the board in three, including a power run win facing better company in his third race back. Number 1A, Redding Colliery, has turned in power run performances in five straight, hitting the board in three, including a pair of power run wins being embedded in this recent streak of racing consistency. His stable mate, number 1, Mahubo, a South African bred entry, is the pace profile leader racing at or about today's distance of 8.5 furlongs on the turf, has hit the board in four straight, including a win in his fourth race back. Race 2 summary, number 7, Kaisha Electronica. Tops the contenders list today, which also includes number one A Redding Colliery, number one Mahubo, also on the list number eight Rush Now, and number nine Saginaw Seven One Eight Nine. In the second from Aqueduct, the seventy-five thousand dollar three coins up stakes. Let's go to uh, Keeneland Racecourse in Kentucky next for their feature race nine. 5.13 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Maker's Mark Mile, a mile test on the turf, grade one, four-year-olds, and up race for $300,000. Contenders number five gets Stormy, number one doubles partner, number six Tour Allure, and number four Big Blue Kitten. Number five gets Stormy, has hit the board in power run fashion in four of his last five outings, including a power run win in his last start. Jockey Ramon Dominguez has been in his irons on five previous occasions, hitting the board in each winning twice en route to a positive 142% return on investment in the process. Back today for ride number six. Number one doubles partner, a 5-1 to one shot, has hit the board in four straight, including a pair of power run wins being embedded in this recent streak of a racing consistency. Jockey Javier Castellano and trainer Todd Pletcher sent him to the post for the Friday feature here at Keeneland. They fit the board with 59% of their entries saddled as a team to date. Race 9 summary, number 5 gets Stormy, tops the contenders list today, which also includes number 1 doubles partner, number 6 Tour Allure, and number 4 Big Blue Kitten 5164 in the ninth from Keeneland, the $300,000 Grade 1 Makers Mark Mile. Finally, let's go to Pimlico for race 6, 3.30 p.m. Eastern Post Time. Five and a half furlong sprint on the dirt. Three-year-olds and up race for a starter allowance prize of some $19,000. Contenders number three, Yano. Number one, Rich Hero. Number nine, Valid Citizen. And number eight, Proud Ruler. Number three, Yano, a four to one shot, the overall speed leader in his allowance field, sprinting at or about today's distance of five and a half furlongs on the dirt, has hit the board in power run fashion in five straight, including a power a pair of power excuse me, a trio of power run wins being embedded in this recent streak of racing consistency. Number one, Rich Hero has hit the board in five straight, including a quartet of power run wins added to his past performance sheet. Jockey Abel Castellano and trainer Jamie Nesson at the post. They blacked the tote board with an impressive 65% from more than 325 entries saddled as a team to date. Race 6 summary, number 3, Yano tops the contenders list, which also includes number 1, Rich Hero, number 9, Valid Citizen, number 8, Proud Ruler, 3198 in the 6th from Pimlico. Take a look at some bonus long shots. Let's go to Woodbine in Canada. Race 5, the 6 to 1 shot. Number 10, Platine. Qualifies as a power pony. Takes a class drop of 5 units. Nice speed for this 5 furlong sprint on the cushioned dirt. Hawthorne in race number 2. Number 4, Scapare. 8 to 1 in the morning line. Qualifies as a power pony. Drops in class by 8 track master units. The overall speed leader in this maiden field racing at or about 8 half furlongs on the turf. So handicapping from Aqueduct, Keeneland, and Pimlico on Friday the 13th. Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.